<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Life's Merchant, The Merchant's Life. That way. Man, my brain is all mushy today. Anyways, we're back and we would like to upgrade our character a little bit. Like smarts, increase the cat. Ah, oh, we already had that. Uh, we could get the reduction in cart upgrade prices. That might be fairly interesting. Or 25% more goods available to buy. I haven't run out of any of those. So that wasn't a problem. Um, I don't want to hire two more people. So I guess the best choice for me here is going to be bargaining 10% reduction cart upgrade. That's certainly going to help. How are we looking in here? Everything's average. Yeah, actually we're warrior merchant is one of our traits now. That's good. That's a good thing. Okay, we're still in Archon, so I'm gonna have a quick look. Mission was anything new. So we're gonna move over to Serenity. That will be fine. Road speed good, road security good. I don't foresee anything bad happening to us. Ha, bandits. Yeah, action, fight them. I'm not, I'm not freaking paying them jack shit. Here, old soldier and soldier of fortune. You can do this. And they can. And they proceed to end their lives. And we are on our way. Oh, what's that? A touring soul. When a burly man approaches the cavern, apparently armed to the teeth, you instinctively tap the hilt of your sword. Everyone tenses as he approaches. As he gets a little closer, you recognize him as a touring soul. A wandering chef traveling far and wide to expand their culinary horizons in the eternal quest for taste perfection. As is the tradition, he has two cleavers on his back, a knife and a chopping board hanging from his belt, and a vicious looking grater strapped to one shoulder. Touring souls really need to look terrifying really do look terrifying, which seems like a recipe for disaster. He's happy to purchase supplies for you. I don't have any, sorry. Sell nothing. What? Give me a break. Five bandits emerge from behind the cover and step purposefully in the road. You quickly sense that something is different about the attack, not quite normal. At first glance, the bandits each look like your standard bandit. But the more you look at them, the more you feel like they look somehow false. The mannerism of the bandits seeming like affection. It starts to become a lot more obvious when they start speaking. Halt, good merchant, and know this. We wish only for your goods and not more unless there's trouble you seek. You frown, and another begins to speak. I say we put an end to this miserable life. My thirst for blood is... I'm always thirsty for more blood. The other bandit looks unhappy with this. Falonius, enough with your madness. This life of banditry is dark. Aye, but there's no need for us to be savages. Is there not a certain nobility in our aim and steward hearts? This at least, I hope. Still... Is it not so, brothers and sisters? Is it not so? You are now certain beyond any doubt that this is a band of actors. Um, play along? You decide to play along. Oh, please, spare me. My life is worth yet more than all of this card contains, and I pray you wager one against one another to find the reckoning so. The actors seem delighted with this response, and sev several applaud. They lower their prop weapons and explain that they are fact actors to mock surprise. They hope they didn't startle you, and thank you for the opportunity to engage in this avant-garde event. Apparently, they are soon appearing in a performance of The Merchant's Menace in Mandrago and want to rehearse in a more real setting. They give you some free tickets to the performance and happily bid you a good day. As the troop leaves, one of the horses looks at you, and you could swear it rolls its eyes. Actors. Actors. I'm on un the right, yeah. A red beard bard's journey. A red bard approaches the caravan as it passes near the village. He stands out against the landscape like glowing signal on stone. Sigil on stone. His blood red tunic catches the light. He would like to transport to your next destination. He's willing to pay handsomely. There are uh, certain who are not fond of the red bards and their sonorous booming rhetoric. You know what? I'll take him along. 500 coins. Despite the misgivings of some among the caravan, you could simply use the coin. Plus, he wants to go your next destination so you won't need to make any diversions. He's happy to pay you up front rather than on arrival. You're very of the man all the same. If he takes a disliking to you or something you say, then you might find yourself being the subject of body songs in taverns across Peregrine. And not the good kind of body songs. He largely keeps to himself, set on the back in a cart. Alright, some grumbling, but other than that, we're good and we made it to Serenity. I gotta say, the frequency of the events is a little bit high. I have like three events on the road there. But, so be it. Ooh, jeez, yes. 84, that was so worth waiting for it. That was so worth waiting for it. That was a lot of money we made here right now. Um, I'm gonna buy some wood, because why not? So I have some. Uh, how about security? How is that looking right now? Mm, yeah, for one more trip we have them. What does the mission say? Letter to Archon and road to Aten. I guess we could go to Aten, I wouldn't mind that. So I'm gonna uh, going to grab myself a <laughs> burly peasant and a poor mercenary. That's fine. Let's sacrifice them for the greater good. All right. 
14 hours to go over here. I, I, I can make that happen. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Oh, look at these weird monsters. That's fairly odd. Anyway, assign, 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 assign. Let, he'll be fine. Oh, shit. They're strong. Oof. Enemy wins. Enemy wins. Enemy wins. Enemy wins. Enemy wins. We got wrecked. Enemy victory. Well, that that didn't last long and I lost all my timber, which is a bummer, but luckily it wasn't too expensive. And I didn't lose any heart. Uh, target rating one. The higher the number, the greater the chance the card is attacked. Huh. Excellent. Anyways, let's have a like, quick look at the market. Yeah, we lost like, what, 400 gold that way? I guess it could have been worse. Not, not, not too bad. Anyway... We're definitely going to need uh, some more people to follow along. What is a mission? Monsters on the road to Randos. I think I'm not going to take those again. Traveler to Archon. I'll take that mission. We don't have to go there immediately. So, what do I care? Uh, let's go and explore Aten. Let's see how that goes. Uh, a buzzing sound behind you, you hear. Like the someone humming. The sound intensifies until you turn around and take a rare sight. A honey wizard making their way down the street. Not walking, however, but floating a few inches off the ground. This mysterious sect of wizards are equally feared and respected across Peregrine. Legend has it they're once ordinary druids who one day decided to just really, really specialize on bees. Instead of walking, they normally seem floating along, carried by thousands of obedient drones within their long golden cloaks. In a fight, they can send a swarm of angry insects to attack mercilessly, and there aren't many good counters to a cloud of stingers. Ooh. Um, say nice things about the bees. You share at the wizard's appreciation for bees, and you aren't afraid to say so. Honey wizard, what are they like? Um, yeah, I like bees. Bees are great. You always like bees and indeed the honey they produce. You shout something to the effect of, way to go bees, and the wizard pauses briefly to look at you. You can make out a smile under the hood before they fly off again. Plus charm. Sweet. Well, I'll take it. Thank you. So, uh, any upgrades? I kind of want to like collect 5,000 gold before I do that, but I'm so intrigued to get an upgrade. A little bit faster would be neat. Um... Structure, concealment, defense, and capacity would also be a good one to make more money. You know what? Let's get that upgrade. That's fine. And uh, let's... Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. We have the carrot up there up front. I'm just going to keep that upgrade. That that will be fine. And uh, our mission is to escort someone down to Archon. We're going to go to Mandrago. That's what we're going to do. And hopefully we'll be fine. What's that? A fallen giant! As soon as you round the corner in the road and are faced with a large tree blocking the way ahead, everyone in the caravan leaps into action, surrounding it in a protective circle. You wait for the inevitable ambush, but it never arrives. Normally a fallen tree across the road means an ambush, but occasionally it just means there was a lightning storm or gale recently. There's enough room on the side of the road to move the caravan around this toppled giant, but you could also stop to collect wood. Ah, uh, sure, I'm gonna collect eight timber. That's like how much money? I want to say 160 if you sell at full price, I think. That would be my best bet. All right, that's that's a good good little break we got there. And in Mandrago, we have arrived. Excellent. What are we seeing? Uh, not too... This is, these really suck when it comes to buying stuff. Um, there's nothing good to buy in this town. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, missions, chest to arrow. Uh, where's arrow? Arrow would be... Down here? Yeah. You know what? That's a good mission. I will, I will take that. Thank you very much. And we're not going to fund any road repairs. Plus 10 road speed is 1,000. That's a feast, 20 reputation. Throwing a feast is one of the best ways of enhancing your reputation. Or watchtowers. I mean, it would make sense to have eventually upgrades between Archon, Serenity, and those regions if we travel there a lot. But for now, I think I'm going to keep my money and uh, stay safe. Let's, let's do that. That's a bar with the, with the um, different types. What about Jarl? Oh, I need a permit for that. Of course I do. <sighs> okay. How about we go to Aton, then Randos, and then down to Argon. Escort. People standing in the road is always a cause for concern, but they mean no harm. Um, they look poor, cold, and hungry. Agree to help. Sure. <clears throat> a chance to earn extra coin. What could possibly go wrong? Compassion. Yay! That's a good one. Right, Aten Market. What are you selling? I forgot. Nothing cheap. It's, it's the worst. Just the worst. How are we looking on security? Not exactly good. Um, missions. Find blade to serenity. 
Serenity being right over there. That would be fine. That's... It's on, it's on the path. So... Oh, I can't take the mission. Oh, well. Sucks to be me. Let's hire a guardsman. <clears throat> Just so we have at least one... Um, one safe thing. Highwayman. A solitary man stands in the road ahead. He has a sword in each hand. A long cloak ripples in the wind. And his face is partly obscured with a kerchief. He doesn't appear to move at all. You can even see him breathing. Or can't. A single highway man who knows what he's doing is often much more dangerous than half a dozen poorly organized bandits who can barely remember which end of a sword to hold. As you approach, he calls out in a booming voice, it'll cost you coin or blood to continue down the road. Let's try to persuade him. I mean, realistically, the chances of talking him out of the whole enterprise of robbing you are pretty slim when it's essentially his raison d'etre. Uh, I mean, his main reason. Uh, this is what he does for a living, and there isn't any obvious reason for him to just let you pass. Still, you offer him a job instead, and he gladly accepts. Uh, wh what? They're not all so bad, these highwaymen and women. Wow. Okay. I guess I didn't get the job, though. He's gone. So, whatever. Let's see. Ooh, height is cheap, and lim lumber is cheap. Hmm. I like that ale is basically so completely sold out. It makes me... Screw it. We're gonna buy timber for this... It'll be fine. We'll, we'll find the place. Uh, we got to remember that ale is, like, absolutely not available here, which would be a good one. A letter to Lancer. I haven't been to Lancer yet. Okay. So now we're in Serenity. I am going to grab, I think, a hunter. Just for one trip. And an old soldier. It's just down to Archon. I think that's a good plan. Um, to escort them. You found something! Goods lying in the road is obviously a little suspicious, but the wheel fur nearby makes it look like they were dumped from a cart that was being pursued. Take the goods, leave the goods. Uh, I'm gonna take the goods. Uh, as the old saying goes, one citizen's trash is another saleable, saleable commodity. Gain goods. I don't think I got goods, because I was already like filled to the brim. Oh no, I got hides and iron. And some grain. Dodgy road ahead. The cart lurches ominously to one side, but rather fortunately you're able to prevent it from tipping over. Hmm, okay. So, we're gonna have to go slow. The horses are fine and it's in the cart, but sadly, the same cannot set for the road. Alright, we're gonna take it slowly. Three hours, that's fine. Got plus calm. <sighs> and bandits. You know what? Screw it. No words, action. We're gonna fight them. I, I, have, I have a local hunter and an old soldier. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, bandits are really weak. Ooh, player wins. Yay! Sadly, we don't get XP, I want to say, from that. Guria marketing. Damn, that's a lot of text. This is, this is, uh... Anyway, the swiftness of the attack is perhaps the most terrifying part. That and the crossbow bolt buried in the car just a few inches from your head. Before you know it, you're surrounded on all sides. Ranged fighters taking aim from many angles while heavily armored figures close in with swords, maces, and warhammers. Things are not looking good for you and the guards. I can see that. What are you doing, Wheatley? Manny. Their leader seems to be a powerful built figure now approaching in full plate armor, wielding a bardich. Bardique? An unholy union of spear and battle axe. Oh, Bardic. Uh, the armored individual flips up the visor plate on their helmet to reveal a surprisingly friendly looking man with a bushy mustache. When he speaks, it's in a deep baritone. <clears throat> Hello, good merchant. I'm Jagan, and these are my colleagues, the Battlefighters of Jagan, or BFOJ for short. We are forwarding facing, highly trained, and extremely professional band of warriors for hire. We don't like to use the term mercenary because that has connotations of untrustworthiness and ill discipline, which is very much the opposite of us. I hope you weren't alarmed by our simulated attack, but we believe it is a valuable way of demonstrating two key points. One, that the road can be perilous indeed, and two, we are extremely good at what we do. We are based in Arkan, and I hope that you, if you have any security needs, that you will consider us in the future. You're about as bemused as you're ever likely to be. Ask about the discount. You wonder if there's a discount for their services. Especially since a crossbow bolt did very nearly puncture your face. He laughs generously at this and concedes that making a good deal with merchants is always a tricky proposition as they're such fine negotiators. Alright. Well, that went. That went that went well. Could have gone really bad. An attendant fox. You catch a sight of a fox sitting patiently at the side of the road. One of the predominant religions of Peregrine incorporates four cardinal animal spirits, of which the fox is one, tied to the element of fire. It stares at you in neither a threatening nor welcoming manner, as if it's weighing you up. I'm gonna ignore it. You pass on the fox as a watch is sitting there, unmoving on the road behind you until disappearing over the horizon. It's a, it's a fox, it's not gonna set us on fire. Ah, oh, great. Bandits. 
Fantastic. Great. You slow as you approach, realizing that terrain will not allow to rush past. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna, gonna try to play them off one another because I can't 800 coins. Like, no. Alright, you try to sow a discard in their ranks. It doesn't work. So we're gonna fight three of them. That's bad. Yep, but we still got one down. The other one's down and... Ooh, the enemy wins. Come on. Yay! We lost one person, but Liliana is fine. Good for you. You made it. Gold reward. Hooray! Let's explore Archon, but first we're going to sell our wood for... Not that much, I guess. Sell this stuff, sell this stuff, sell this stuff. That was good. Look at that. The ale is actually not as expensive here. Not that it's going to be much better on this side. I remember that ale was basically not available in Serenity. Above average is ale, yeah. So we should go... Oops, no, I don't... No, 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 no. So we should go over to Oxtown, buy ale dirt cheap. Unless I see it somewhere cheaper. If timber is very cheap right now. Let's have a quick look. Uh, timber right now in Archon... I don't want to quit. No, 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 no. Uh, right now in Archon, timber is 18. Eh, I'm not going to make too much money on this. And grain. There's a major demand for grain. I guess I can just buy stuff with on the average price and go over and hope that will work fine. Uh, I'm not going to take a chest. I'm not going to do combat. Um, I'm hiring a poor mercenary. That sounds good. Just, just a cheap guy because I think... Nope, I don't have anyone else. Ah, might as well hire someone else. I just realized I turned off the music by accident. I'm the worst. All right. A monk, two trips, 400. I mean, he's very loyal, very strong. Tough warrior sounds nice, though. On the road to Randos, we could do it. It's 800, and hiring him is like 600. So it might be worth it to just have that. Where's Lancer, by the way? Lancer's over here. Um, 23 hours, 15 hours. So there's a lot of demand for this. Um. I can hire him. One, two, three, and then he's gone. So that might not be worth it. Screw it. It'll be fine. We can do this. Let's, let's hope for the best. This is always a bad idea. Oh, we made it. Yay. Gold reward. And at the market, we're going to sell some wood for a total profit of, what, 160, I want to say? Not, not a lot. Okay, so ale is 60 here. That's good to know. And timber is dirt cheap. Wait, didn't I just sell? No, I didn't sell timber. What am I talking about? I'm gonna buy like 10 timber and I'd love to see if I can get some uh, alcohol in Oxtown. Missions. Atten, Archon. Wolves on the road to uh, Archon. It's 800 for that. Uh, I'm gonna hire a poor mercenary just to have one around. Lasts a while. That's good. And he's going to last two. We, we, we should be fine. Let's go over to Oxtown and see how that goes. So, yeah. Major the man for this stuff. Fight in progress. As you're painfully aware, merchants are a price-sized target. Oh! Help your fellow merchant. Bravery. And we're going to battle some guy. Yeah, I'm going to help my fellow merchant. That's not even up for discussion. And we win. Whew. Lucky. I mean... Bandits are really dumb. And it's an indisputably bad omen. Those who believe in omens will tell you that often they are inscrutable. Their meaning difficult to divine. You have always suspected that it is simply a way to keep the diviners in a job. The convenience of only chosen few who can understand translate a thing and has never set well with you. Still, some omens are spectacular, direct, and obvious that they perhaps do not even qualify as omens as much as sign messages, clear evidence of something. When a falcon, the national symbol of Peregrine, drops out of the sky and lands dead just in front of you of the caravan, it'd be hurt for even the most immune to superstition to explain away. Let's bury it two hours. It takes a little while, but you decide to buy the unfortunate bird at the side of the road. It's a symbol of a nation, your nation, and it just feels right. The re oh, bury. It says buy there, but I think it means bury. All right, got some mysticism. So that's good. Ah, nice. Do we... Poor mercenary leaves the trips. Trips completed. Yes. All right, market. Oh, look at how cheap that ale is and sell all of the wood. Yes, it is so dirt cheap. Excellent. Yeah, we're, we're going to be full of that. And I'll be hiring someone to help us out on the road to Arrow. Arrow would be between us, so we could have two missions just for in between. Um, peasants to Outland. Wait, Outland? 
Outland? Where the frick is Outland? Outland. I can't even rem Oh, all the way there? Oh, uh, we have to abandon this. We can't do this. Because we don't have the permit yet for these things. Um, in Oxtown, I'd love to take the Escort Fine Blade and Bandits. I'll, I'll take both of them. And I'm going to hire all three of those. Hire, hire, hire. That's good. So, we're not going to donate anything. We're full. So, having some um, people to protect us is a good idea. And there's the battle we've been waiting for. A sign. And luckily, yeah, we got these guys. They'll help us. Player victory, combat mission success, giving us, like, all the money back we needed in that regard. And... A better offer. Free, especially grubby-looking bandits. Ha! To battle once more. I don't. I don't care. I'm super decked out. Oh wait. No. 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 Cancel. 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 This is the wrong place to go in. All right. Assign. Player one. Yay! And he's dead. All of them are dead. I wish we would get something in return, like some gold that they had with them. All right. That finished up two missions and. Wolves on the road to Archon. I'm going to take that mission as well. And hire all... Oh, I can't hire anymore? Oh, that's a, that's a bummer. Um, We might be fine. Let's, let's do combat with the wolves. And the market tells me that... Ooh, yes. It's not as good as bringing it up there where it's like 80. I think. I think over here if we go to Serenity we would make 80 on it. But I'm still going to sell this. This is excellent. Excellent prices, and we're nearly up to 5,000. All right, up to Archon we go. We have that mission, right? Yes. And see how things are going there. Um, wolves. Let's fight some wolves. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't very difficult. Taken care of. And we have 5,000 now, and nine days left. We're doing well. That makes me very happy. And look at all of that dirt as cheap ale. Okay, this is very high, this is low. I guess I can buy some ale. 10. I mean, Serenity, my, it might be worth going to Serenity. Right now there is an over, how many hours? 35, okay. So if we go there, we might get some meat. Yeah, let's do that. All right, quick look if there is a mission towards Serenity. Lancer or Randos? Mm, neither of those are interesting for me. Alright, so how about we go up to Serenity and see if we can sell some of our uh, alcohol. Anything else that we... Nah, I think alcohol is fine. 35 hours. Let's do this. The na good news is that the fire across the road isn't part of an ambush. The bad news is that it is a part of a localized fire that is spreading fast. Carefully pick a rod through the blaze. Plus one wits. That worked out well. So, uh... We're not encountering too much anymore. Yes, we made it! Without an event! Oh, look at that meat. So cheap. And we're gonna sell that alcohol for a lot of money. I guess it, it feels like Serenity is the best place to sell your ale. Um, deserters on the road to Atten. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing, nothing of interest here. Uh, security says we still have them following us around. And I don't think there's more to buy for me. Okay. So, since we have 5,400, we're going to make some extra cash monies. How about we upgrade our horses with speed? Yay! I hope that helps. It's still two horsepower. I guess structure will do give us more speed. Okay, the padded harness. Capacity. Really ramps it up, I guess. Five, eight. Hmm. All right, we're going to get there once we have our uh, guild membership. Yeah, that's the word. All right, back to Archon we go. Right? Because I bought meat and meat is expensive here. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Hopefully we're a little faster. Collision! It's a rather treacherous stretch of road, more in terms of poor state of the road itself, rather than any prevalence of bandits in the environs. A merchant cart comes up behind you and rather unusually immediately overtakes before speeding away. Unfortunately, at the next bend, it's going way too fast, loses a little control and collides with another trade cart. As you approach collision, you're relieved to see that no one appears to be hurt and the damage to both carts is surprisingly light, all things considered. However, the two merchants are facing off angrily and it looks someone is going to get hurt. Right on, play the peacemaker, point out the speed the merchant was traveling when overtaking you. I'm going to play the peacemaker. Calm. Nice. I'm not entirely sure, I mean... 
Uh, as you can see, this is all still pretty average. I haven't made any big dents there. And we're an Archon. And a lot of people leave the party now. So we're going to sell the meat because, uh, yeah, plenty of cash money is to be made here. And buy all of that ale. Yes, I know it's not the best price, but it's a good price. Um, I will be hiring... Oh, missions. Randos. Back to randos. Yeah, I'll, I'll be gladly... No, that's Serenity. Randos is over here. But I'll be gladly going um, to Randos. Bandits, 500. And Lancer, we can't make it there. So, 500 we have. I'll gladly hire a... What is it? A Brawler. And let's get a Soldier Fortune in there. We're not going to make any money on this. From that mission. But that's okay. We're going to head out to Randos. Um, how full are we, by the way? Right now, we're hauling beer. Yeah, that'll work fine. Um, above average beer by any chance? No, it's not listed as above average. We'll see. We'll see. Can't wait to get some goddamn... Uh, get my merchant guild going. I guess it's not here. Library. No, we're, we're going to have to save up our money. Let's go to Randos, that is. Have to be careful not to have uh, too little money once we go over. Could could would you would you mind? Otherwise, I'm gonna spend money on an upgrade or something, or on just on goods, and I don't have enough once the day's over. All right. Yeah, you all go over, sign, 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 and let's see how that goes. It it goes well. I'm not surprised. Combat mission success, meaning we get some money back. Rafik's wager. I had that. Before, every card in every wagon has its own audible signature. This may say utter nonsense, but do you hear Rafik's caravan approaching before you see it? And somehow you are sure it will be him appearing over the horizon. Hail, he shouts as greeting. It's a pleasure to see you once again, my fellow master of trade. We are like two legendary heroes meeting on the battlefield in some ancient long-forgotten war. We are rivals, but also friends. We can respect each other as we duel. You roll your eyes instinctively. He challenges you and your car to a race against his. Half a mile back, he passes on also his own building that will serve as a finish line. Um, here's a wager, 300. You know what? We have, we have a fairly, fairly speedy horse. Let's do it. Yay, we win! Clearly he is confident in his victory. His cart sets off at a blistering pace, but yours is simply faster. You easily glide him past him and reach the old stone building. 600 coins. Well, that's one way to make money, I guess. And in randos we are now. Okay, missions, I think we finished one. Yep, they're all finished. Excellent. And I want to go to Serenity anyways, I'm pretty sure. So that's where we will go. Um, in terms of security, I'd like to hire a local hunter. Sure, that's fairly good price. Um, yeah, that's good. And selling some ale. Is it worth it selling that? Because if we just go to Serenity, we're going to be making plenty of cash monies. But there are some other goods that we could take. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll sell those. And that's totally okay. So here, look at that. How cheap, dirt cheap that is. All that leather. I, I hope I find a place to sell it. Otherwise, it's going to be really awkward. Uh, no mission. So we're going to go over to Aten and then Serenity. Given that there we have an escort. A better offer. Uh, try to play them off. Um, yes, it works. Yes, excellently. It all works beautifully. And they're so busy arguing that they easily pass by. Perfect. Oh, it's a ghost hunter. I have nothing to sell to you. We had that before. Uh, yeah, there's eventually going to be the point where the events are going to repeat themselves, which is okay. Atun, its own armory. So, yeah, we bought it at 24, so we could sell a bit of that. Yeah, and still made some cash monies. Four days left. Excellent. Um, what I'm going to buy... Yeah, I'm going to buy some expensive ale over here. Because we're going to be selling it in Serenity, which always has, um... Really bad prices for uh, good prices for us, bad prices for anyone else. Highway man. Oh, right. Um, let's see if we can persuade him to pass. Yes, you try to talk him down, but he's having none of it. He won't accept coins anyone, though. Now he will take blood. He may be in for a nasty surprise this day. Oh, okay. We're fighting him and we're probably going to lose. Player wins. Player wins. Player wins. Oh, okay. I was I was worried there. But we made it. Excellent. And we're Serenity. We got a little reward. We have 5,000 gold. And on the market, we can sell all the alcohol for excellent prices. That's good. That's absolutely excellent. 
Um, I'd love to buy that wood though. And just make our way. Uh, I don't want to go to Randus, honestly. I don't care. Uh, in terms of security, let's hire a Soldier of Fortune for two trips. Not that there is really something, but yeah, let's, let's hire him. Then again, it might not be worth it given that we're just going to buy some timber to sell it off nearby. It's not going to be a big uh, span where we can make some money. Ooh! Ale is really cheap right here. 26. How long would that take? 14 hours? Uh, we might not be able to make it there fast enough. We have a major demand for um, steel. Well then. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go to Mandrago. Traveling to Atten. And hope that goes, you know, well. The good news is that the fire across the road isn't part of an ambush. Oh yeah, it's that. Well, we're going to pick a route through the place and we get some wits. And uh, yeah, running out of time here. We're going to continue in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.